Greetings, Grand Adventurers. Welcome back. Mark Guido, your host here. And we are actually doing something a little bit different on this episode. We're going to get our kicks across New Mexico and Arizona. Stick around. So we are retracing the route of historic Route 66, westbound from Albuquerque to New Mexico to Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, I can't imagine that you're not familiar with Route 66, but it was one of the original long distance US routes. It led from Chicago all the way to Los Angeles. So we're only retracing a part of it. The stretches across New Mexico and Arizona pretty much follow the current day Interstate 40. There are times when Interstate 40 actually was constructed right on top of where Route 66 used to run. There are other times that the historic route diverges somewhat, a little bit, from Interstate 40. And it's gonna require some route finding on our part. You can't exactly pull out a current day map and see Route 66, it's no longer an active route. Uh, but there are a number of guides available online or in print that will allow you to follow this historic route. Route 66, especially back in the 50s and 60s, was a huge way for American families to take a giant road trip across the country and see the American West. We're going to kind of do that across these two states. Picking up Route 66 westbound on Central Avenue in downtown Albuquerque, which becomes a frontage road to US 40 as it enters the barren desert west of the city. One of the first Route 66 artifacts to find is the Rio Puerco Bridge. After some distance on US 40, the historic route departs the freeway at Laguna Puebla, which gives Patricia another opportunity to score some of the Navajo fry bread that she's come to crave. Route 66 is littered with businesses that have been abandoned. After I-40 bypassed the original route and took their clientele speeding past from exit to exit.
So we arrived for the evening in Gallup, New Mexico. Stayed at the USA RV Park just outside of Gallup. It was a pleasant stay. Would have been nice to have a little grass, but the facilities are very well kept and the folks are trying very hard. Uh, that Everything's uh, gravel with paved drive, uh, driveways or roads through the park, but the sites themselves are like a peat gravel. They actually do a wonderful little barbecue right at the RV park. Unfortunately, I think we were pretty much the only customers for the barbecue. Kind of feel bad for them in that respect because it was great. They do their own smoking right on site. They have a very nice swimming pool and they have a very nice dog park area, which was very close to where we were, right on the end of a row. So we have plenty of space. It was quite nice. One of the few things of interest we can find in Gallup to film for you is the El Rancho, an historic hotel built by the brother of film director D.W. Griffith. It is located on old U.S. Route 66 and became the temporary home for many Hollywood movie stars. It opened in 1937 as a base for movie productions, but with the opening of Interstate 40, the property fell into decline until Armand Ortega bought and restored the property. Its famous guests have included Ronald Reagan, Jane Wyman, Katherine Hepburn, and even John Wayne. So we're getting ready to hit the road. We've got some serious weather moving in. Uh, it's going to be an interesting drive. Uh, strong line of thunderstorms moving in from eastern Arizona that we are that that we're going to cross and they're heading right at us. We'll try and keep following the historic Route 66 as we head into the weather. Well, that was exciting. Uh, it absolutely poured. A lot of water ponding on the roads. Uh, we're now in Arizona. Uh, didn't have an awful lot to film for you in that stretch anyway, which was a good thing because I wasn't getting out in that pouring rain to film anyway. Uh, but uh, we're coming up now on Petrified Forest National Park. I'm gonna swing through there and take a peek while we're driving through. Named for its large deposits of petrified wood, Petrified Forest National Park covers about 230 square miles east of Holbrook, Arizona, bordering the Painted Desert at its northern end near historic Route 66. Blue Mesa, 
we get our first look at the petrified wood that gives this national park its name. And it's absolutely everywhere. Formed from fallen trees that lived in the late Triassic period, about 225 million years ago, the petrified logs have been exposed by the erosion of wind and water, and now sit on the desert surface. Petrified wood is the result of a tree having completely transitioned to stone, as mineral-laden water deposits minerals in the plant's cells while retaining the original structure of the tree's stem tissue. Most of the logs in the park retain their original external form during the petrification process. a really cool diversion off of historic route 66 uh, it's a 28 mile drive down through the national park down to us 180 which we're using to get back to holbrook and rejoin the historic route 66 route Holbrook contains a significant Route 66 landmark, the Wigwam Motel, part of a unique motel chain built during the 1930s and 40s that once had seven locations, each featuring motel rooms fashioned like teepees. Two of the three surviving motels are located on historic US Route 66, this one in Holbrook built in 1950 and the other in Rialto, California. So now I'm standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. Such a fine sight to see. It's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed Ford, and she's not slowing down to take a look at me. So our intent was to make it to Flagstaff last night, but I'll tell you, route finding along the old Route 66 and some of those little narrow roads can be a little slow at times. On top of that, the weather yesterday in the morning when we had those thunderstorms slowed us down. Uh, on top of that, the weather did close back in on us in the afternoon. It is monsoon season in the southwest after all. We did have some severe thunderstorms in the area. So we pulled off 540 into the Meteor Crater RV Park. Uh, very conveniently located, nice park, 
Um, they have a huge, huge dog walk area, which has been really special for us with the girls. On top of that, the sites have plenty of space in between them. Uh, there are a few trees, which are a rarity out here in the middle of nowhere in the uh, central New Mexico desert. Uh, it turned out to be a really good stay. It was 33 a night with our good Sam discount for a water and electric site. Really didn't feel the need to have sewer hookups for just one night. We'll just use their dump station and get that all taken care of. But we're going to get back on the road this morning and finish up our trip along the Albuquerque to Flagstaff segment of Route 66. Well, I figured as long as we were staying in the RV park, I'd show you Meteor Crater. But I'm not spending 18 bucks to show you a hole in the ground, so uh, you're gonna have to live with seeing the visitor center. It's only September 2nd, but we're already seeing the first dusting of snow of the season on Humphreys Peak. Arizona's highest point in the San Francisco mountains. So we made it to Flagstaff. Our travels along the historic Route 66 are going to end here. From here, we're gonna head northeast across the native Hopi and Navajo reservations of northeastern Arizona. So to come along with us on our next grand adventure, uh, please hit that subscribe button down there in the corner, the little red one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. Ring that notification bell to get a notification of each new episode of Grand Adventure as we upload it to YouTube. And as always, we love to receive your feedback and comments in the comments section down below. And until next time, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.